Hey Sprayberry, did you know that gas masks, traffic lights, and automatic elevator doors are just some of the innovative inventions that would not be here without the efforts and the brilliant minds of these African American inventors? Thomas Jennings was the first African American person to receive a patent in the United States. He paved the way for future inventors of color to gain exclusive rights to their inventions. People objected to an African American receiving a patent, but Jennings found a loophole. He was a free man. At the time, U.S. patent law stated that the slave master is the owner of the fruits of the labor of the slave, both manually and intellectually, meaning slaves could not own ideas or their inventions. Born Sarah Breedlove in 1867, Madam C.J. Walker is often referred to as the first self-made African-American female millionaire. She suffered from severe hair loss and experimented with various products, including hair care recipes developed from African-American businesswomen. She began selling her own hair care products developed specifically for black women, and Brie Love renamed herself Madam C.J. Walker and established her company. She died a famous millionaire and is known today as one of the founders of African-American hair care and cosmetics. With only an elementary school education, Garrett Morgan held patents on two of today's most important devices, the gas mask and the traffic light. His problem-solving skills propelled him to success at the beginning of his career as an entrepreneur and an inventor. After witnessing a terrible traffic accident, he invented a device that determined when cars and pedestrians have the right of way. When the elevator was invented, people had to close the elevator shaft door manually before riding. Forgetting to do so led to multiple accidents as people fell down the elevator shaft. When the daughter of a famous inventor, Alexander Miles, almost fatally fell down the shaft, he took it upon himself to create a solution, and in 1897, he took out a patent for a mechanism that automatically opened and closed elevator doors, and his, and his design is reflected in elevators used today. Alfred L. Crow was born in 1866 in Virginia, shortly after the end of the American Civil War. It was while working at the hotel he ran the ice cream service and had difficulty scooping the ice cream. Influenced by his challenge, Crow came up with the ice cream mold to keep ice cream and other food from sticking. Other similar ideas in 1897 spread like wildfire. Unfortunately, Crow's name is rarely associated with the device, which began popping up across the United States. Crow died on May 6, 1919, when he was just 52 years old.